Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to part 3 of my Revell 172nd scale B17F Memphis Bell build. Last time we put the fuselage halves together and now we can start working on the wings. I cut and clean all the parts for these very large and beautiful looking wings. Next, the pieces for the landing gear bay are added. With all the internal details in place, I glue together the wing sections. I also use this time to complete the tail assemblies. I will not be keeping the bomb bay open. However, this piece is rather ill-fitting and it will take some putty and sanding later. I clean up the wing seam lines with some putty and sanding. As I had done earlier with the fuselage, the lost panel lines are rescribed. Now to the interesting part, adding the rivets. My search on the net led me to this print. It is for a B17G. So not exactly what we are making, which is an F, but I decided to use this as a guide anyway. 
There are sections of the aircraft where the riveting is relatively simple, like here on the edges of the wings. For these areas, I just use a tape and a pencil to draw the rivet lines. Not too much measuring is involved. I have recently bought this Rosie the Riveter and I must say it's a huge improvement over the plastic trumpeter one that I was using so far. The trumpeter riveting tool in my opinion is really poorly designed for several reasons I will not get into now. This one on the other hand is really smooth and offers a clear line of sight. So one can see where one is adding the rivets and keep straight lines. If you intend to do some riveting on your kits, you should definitely buy this riveting tool or a tool of similar design. When I get to the more complex part of the riveting, like here, where there are multiple lines running parallel to each other, I need to use some measuring tools. I am using this photo etch ruler since it can bend along the surface, well somewhat. I have already measured out the distance between the lines and I start marking them out with a pencil. Here goes the first line. Nope, don't like it. I just simply rub out the line and go again. This time, I measure right till the end. Much better. Now, I just add all the lines. This does take a little patience, especially on a larger kit like this one. But this is a skill I really want to hone, since it really adds a lot to the kit. With all the lines drawn, I now add the rivets. I bought a single wheel riveting tool, but I will soon be adding a double wheel one. As I was doing the riveting on this kit, I realized that a double wheel riveter would be really useful. I know some of the lines are slightly crooked, but that is something that I think I will improve with time and practice. And here is the comparison between the two wings, one with and the other without the rivets. I think it really does make a difference. I repeat the process for the second wing. To wipe off the pencil marks, I just use a paper towel moistened with alcohol. The mistake I made here was that I thought that a vigorous rub with the towel would also suffice for a light sanding. In retrospect, I think I should have sanded the surface with a 2000 grit sanding paper or something like that. It would have helped settle the raised sides of the rivets that were pushed up by the riveting tool. Well, you live and you learn. The curved surfaces are a little trickier to do. 
I used the tape to use as a guide for these. And this is what the tail stabilizers look like after the riveting. Nice. Now on to the fuselage. It was a lot more difficult to mark out distances on the round fuselage. So what I did was first measure out the gaps on a masking tape. The tape was then glued to the fuselage and the distance transferred to the plastic. Once the distances were marked on both sides of the fuselage, I used some bendable tape as a guide and added the rivets. Finally, with all the riveting done, I glued the parts together. Right then fellow model makers, that's about all the time we have in this edition. We will carry on with the build next time and start painting this kit. I hope you liked the video. Please do leave a like if you did. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, good luck and happy model making.